Hello YouTubers, I'm Gizzy Greenfingers and this is my Brazilian rain tree and I suppose you want to know what happens when you cut the taproot off a Brazilian rain tree ready for bonsai, bonsaiing, yes even if that's, if that's even a word, but bonsai, that is a word. So if you want to know what happens then stay tuned and I'll show you step by step. First you want to get rid of all the soil like so and so you've left with just the roots. It's quite a lot of rootage on there. It's not even a year old. Another three months and there'll be a year old. But there's our tap root right there and that needs to be removed. So you want to get yourself a pair of secateurs which I shall get just this second. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Steady on there, Gizzy Greenfingers. And you want to find a decent part. If I can get in there, just to cut that tap root right off. Like so. No, oh, it was knotted all right. Effing knotted. I don't like knots whatsoever, so I I heaved and I hoed. And um, I was ripping roots off left, right and centre. But did I care? No. Not at the time. Not at the time, I didn't care. Do I care now? I know what happens. Yeah, oh, yeah I bloody care now. It's a, it's a learning game. It's all a learning game. So there we have it. Our root mass. Now let's get this indoors. And we'll work from there. But not before... Getting the secateurs out once... Once more. Just to cut that... Further back. Because I'm never happy. So that's quite a lot of root mass we've been taking off. So that's stressing out a Brazilian rain tree, like, 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 yeah, you know what I mean? Just like, and subscribe. So we've got the little fucker in now. And what we do is we sort of get these roots all like spaced out like so. And then we'll just add soil to that. And I'm not going to feed it anything because I'm a bit scared. Which I was right to be scared. <laughs> I was right to be scared, alright? He was right be scared. Scared out of the skin he was. Yes. He may have been scared. So what we're doing is we're just, we're just putting more soil on top. And yeah, these Brazilian rain trees, they don't like going down to anything under 10 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm, I'm young. I'm young at heart. I'm young at heart. And then give it a little water with your watering can. Like so. And then there you have it. There you have it. Looks green as anything. Look at that, it looks so healthy. So healthy. Wow. You've done it, Gizzy. But let's wait a few days later. Well, I tell a lie, it was one day later. And as you can see, the leaves have started to yellow. I was horrified at what I was looking at. Extremely horrified, but alas, I wasn't that worried because I put a bit of light on that situation and if we look very closely, the new shoots that you see protruding out of the bark, out of the branches, even, they're actually still effing green. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's going poly pissy pants because I cut the tap root off. It's got I don't like that. I'm a busy little raging. Don't you know that? So that's what's happened. I just don't think, I just think it's just finicky, pain in the ass. 
if you ask me. Next day. Well, as you can see, the next day it was looking even fucking shitter. Excuse my language. But it was looking crap. Oh yeah, why didn't you say that in the first place? Yes, well it was looking effing crap. But the new shoots were still green. Which made me think, yeah, you know what, Gizzy, you got this. You got this. You know what you're doing. You got this. You, you've done enough research. But it still made me crap my pants. And it made me crap my pants all right. And what I think is going to happen is it's going to lose all its old leaves completely. They will go yellow and then fall off and die. And I'll just be left with the new shoots. And I'm happy with that. I'll be happy. The next day. <laughs> so this was the next day. This was the next day. And they're all shriveling out and they're all dying. And they're going, oh no, no. We don't like that. We don't like it at all. But look at the new shoots. They have grown. They have doubled in size. And they are green. They are uh, as green as... Yeah, as green as. <laughs> that was green as. Exactly. So that's my my theory, is they're all going to die, the old leaves, and I'm going to be left with the new shoots, and it's going to look epping, epping awesome. Yeah. Epping awesome. So what's my message? I hear you ask. Well, I believe my message is don't be afraid to cut the tap root off because it'll all end up okay in the end. Well, it's working for me. And I guess my other message is don't forget to subscribe. And then you can see how this progresses and echoes through the ages. Echoes, echoes, echoes. But in all honesty, that's what happens if you cut the tap root off. So don't be afraid and do what you think you would. Do research, obviously. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Kissing me.